Hey guys, today I'm filming a different sort of video for you and that is my favorite YouTubers, my favorite YouTubers. Let me just start this off by saying this morning when I was looking at my list of all the people that I'm subscribed to, I realized Mikey's not on there. She's not on my subscriptions list. YouTube fucking unsubscribe me. So what I'm going to tell you is that this is the list of all the people that I saw on my subscribers list. If I'm forgetting you, it's not because I don't like you or because I don't watch your videos. It's merely because I think it's unsubscribing me from people. I think it's unsubscribing me. Like, I already see one that I missed. I already see one. So I'm just going to start off in no particular order. Actually, the order that this is in is alphabetical. I'm going to put this into categories because I watch a lot of different types of YouTubers. And these categories are, like I said, in no particular order. And if I leave you out, it's not that I don't watch you. It's truly because stupid YouTube. Like, it unsubscribed me from Mikey, from Glamagore. It unsubscribed me. We know how much I love her, and it just literally, I, I was like, why isn't she on my subscriptions list? I go to her page, it says, you want to subscribe? I'm like, I have been subscribed to Mikey since she was at 8,000 subscribers. <laughs> FYI. So, just saying, no. I'm going to start off with makeup, because this list is the longest of all of the lists. So, I'm going to start off alphabetical order. And I'm going to explain briefly why I love each one. Alex Faction. Now, if you don't follow Alex, he is an incredible makeup artist, really talented face painter, and he does some really, really amazing and really striking male makeup looks. So he's a guy, and he does, he doesn't necessarily, he doesn't do drag or anything like that, but he does awesome makeup artistry. For Halloween, he just did JLo's makeup. What an amazing opportunity. Absolutely incredible makeup artist, and I will be linking everybody in the description of this video so you can go check out their channels if you've never heard of them before. He does some seriously amazing, like, skull makeup is my favorite from him. I recreated a couple of different looks on my Instagram page of Alex's, and I just recreated one of his makeup looks, which was one, like, the Lady Gaga skull makeup look. I did that on my friend Dylan for Halloween, and it looked amazing. So thank you, Alex, for your awesome tutorial. I also really love Battle Ash. Specifically Sam, but I also love Dominique and um, Angela from Battle Ash. But I found Battle Ash through Sam. And if you don't follow them, which you probably do, and you probably remember me from back in the day talking about how much I love them, just really down to earth, actual people that have gone into the field of makeup artistry, have gone to school for it, who know about makeup and makeup products and how to apply makeup. And they're just really talented, but really down to earth really beautiful as well so I absolutely love Battle Lash and I have learned a shit ton about makeup from them. Crispy as well if you don't follow Crispy she's a huge Instagram makeup artist who also does YouTube and is a big now YouTube makeup artist she also seems really down to earth really beautiful makeup she can blend out eyeshadow in like one stroke incredible really 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 badass editing and just everything about her videos is so nicely done. And if you don't follow her already, you should definitely go check her out. Courtney Little is a really awesome Instagram makeup artist that I found who also does YouTube videos. And I love her editing, her quality. She's very soft-spoken, but very sweet and very talented and does some incredible body painting looks. So if you're looking for something new or somebody new to follow who does really awesome body painting and who posts and uploads a lot. She does some really beautiful makeup looks, so I really like her channel a lot, and uh, I think you will too. Desi Perkins is right alongside of Crispy and Luster Lux, who I will talk about later, but Desi does some really flawless, glowing, beautiful, just fierce as fuck makeup looks. So if you're looking for somebody to follow who is really amazing at doing makeup and also really down to earth and funny and can make me laugh so hard, Desi is amazing. Elsa Ray, we all know how much I love Elsa. She was one of the top six on the Nick's Face Awards and is so bloody talented at doing body painting. You just, ugh, she's so down to earth. One of my best friends here on YouTube. So humble and so funny and so down to earth and her and I have connected really really well online so I absolutely love Elsa so much her channel her videos everything she's an amazing editor an amazing body painter so nice so funny so down to earth you guys will love her so if you haven't checked her out already she is worth checking out and her videos are nice and short to the point love that Freakmo huge inspiration to me online huge 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 so if you guys don't follow Freakmo she is oh, 
so good and talented, does things the right way, um, doesn't just do SFX makeup on a scale of you know cotton and latex which is which is amazing if you do that that's, that's great but she does like sculpting and casting and very face-off esque style YouTube videos where she teaches you the right ways to do things so if you don't follow her so talented so incredible uses products that I could only dream of using and learning the techniques of so love the videos really high quality I love her accent she's just so sweet and helpful and I've literally learned so much from her so definitely check out her channel so so amazing love it so much fresh blush Erin she is also one of the top six from the NYX face awards which is where we met love her her body painting makeup style editing videos intros everything so beautiful and so amazing and I absolutely love her videos so much she couldn't be any sweeter and cuter and she's young and fresh and loves what she does and does everything really well and her Halloween tutorials this year were on frickin point some of them literally had me like jaw dropped they're so beautiful so if you want to follow somebody who is really inspiring and does really awesome makeup stuff that is Erin from fresh blush obviously we all know my love for Mikey from glam and gore if you don't follow her, which I'm sure you do, but you're probably one of the million zombies that are out there already, but I absolutely love Mikey from Glam and Gore. Her channel is top notch, probably one of the best out there. The videos and the quality and everything is so on point. I absolutely love the tutorials. I have followed her for a long time and her and I have become close friends as well. I absolutely love her. I support her in everything that she does and if you don't follow her already, which I'm sure you do, but if you don't, you definitely should check out her videos because I can't think of one person that wouldn't like her amazing, perfect quality awesome videos and really awesome personality as well super nice really great friend of mine so I hope you guys can check her out that is glam and gore or Mikey another awesome SFX and body painting makeup artist is Goldie Starling her and I met at the NYX face awards and we chatted for like an hour we mostly talked about cats and I think we talked about some makeup as well she was really genuine and really nice and down-to-earth and has actually helped me out a bit here online uh, absolutely amazing love her YouTube videos the quality her clean correct way of doing things I absolutely love everything's really safe and everything's really really good I absolutely love her videos so much if you don't follow Goldie Starling definitely worth following um, since I have found her I have learned a lot of techniques along with Freakmo and Mikey to all these SFX artists that I'm mentioning they do things differently and they do things the right way and I really appreciate that because I like learning um, shortcuts and ways to do things but I also really am interested in the way to do things like when I say the right way I mean like the way schools teach you like with casting and with um, molding and with sculpting and those things really interest me and that's why I really love Goldie Starling as well because she does things in such a really amazing way that makes me want to learn more and so since watching her YouTube channel I have really felt the drive to learn more about SFX. Switching to the beauty side of makeup I love Jaclyn Hill. Love her videos. I literally, she's one of those people no matter what she uploads I watch and same to go with all these people but Jacqueline's one of those people that she just has this awesome energy that I really love watching and I really love her knowledge about makeup she can do some eye looks that are so blended beautifully to the point where I literally cannot find a flaw in them and that is to say something she does some in seriously insanely beautiful makeup looks she is a really nice person down to earth funny I love watching her snapchats everything I just love Jacqueline Hill and I'm sure you guys do too I also really like watching Jay Kissa. I met her at Generation Beauty and again I saw her at the NYX Face Awards. She's she is a really really good makeup artist. She does things that are a little more unconventional like doing two different colors of eye makeup. She does a lot of really bold makeup looks and I'm not as adventurous with color but she's definitely adventurous with color. I really like her style of videos where they're really straight to the point. They're all about makeup and they are really 
informative and helpful when it comes to wanting to purchase products and that's what I like. If I'm looking for something to find out the pigmentation, the quality, the blendability, the mixtures, I will go to her page to check it out because I know that the product shots are going to be seriously beautiful and up close and bright and really nice and also the information is going to be there for me. Jordan Hans is a really talented makeup artist, like really talented body painter to the point where you're like, are you fucking kidding me? That talent, that talent though, oh my gosh, it's just next level. So if you guys don't know who Jordan Hans is, she is a body painting, and she does beauty makeup as well, makeup artist here on YouTube and Instagram, and she just did 31 days of Halloween tutorials on her YouTube channel called Hansween, where she did a ton of makeup looks, and I can tell you, you'll go look and you'll be like, I got damn. So definitely check out Jordan Hans if you're looking for some YouTube inspiration on really, really, really nicely shaded and highlighted makeup looks, because we all know that's what that bitch specializes in. Plus, she's really down to earth and is a lot like me in the way that she'll just say fuck it in a video and not worry about the masses of people crying about a cuss word, which I can appreciate. Candy Johnson is, everyone knows who Candy Johnson is. She is like the OG of makeup YouTubers, but I love her upbeat and positive energy. I think that she's got such a way about her that makes me feel like I want to be more like Candy, which I think really says a lot to the type of person that she is because I'm kind of a black soul of a human being where I don't really cry a lot, I don't really have a lot, of, I'm not like a sociopath or anything, but I don't have a lot of emotions when it comes to things. I mean, I do, like if a snail gets stepped on, I might cry for 16 hours, but like for humans, I don't really have a lot of emotion towards humans, which is really weird in a way. Don't get me started. But Candy makes me want to be a more upbeat, positive, and sunny person because I typically am... I don't, I, don't, I don't walk through life as a pessimist, but I don't walk through life as sunny and positive as she is. And I, she inspires me to be more of a positive person. And in person, she is just as sunny and positive as she is on her YouTube channel. And she's also itty bitty. And I couldn't believe how small she was when I met her. I was like, you are the tiniest, sweetest, smiliest little human. And she's so sweet and so humble. And not at all a diva, which is really refreshing in this whole YouTube thing. Kayla Hagee is another page I really like. She is an Instagram and YouTube makeup artist, and she does some really beautiful makeup looks. I found that we live sort of close to each other, which is pretty cool. The fact that we've never hung out is kind of weird, but she is she does some really seriously beautiful makeup looks and really clean and really pretty, and you should go check out her page. I actually first saw her when I was browsing Pinterest, couple years ago and I saw this cracked porcelain doll look on Pinterest. I recreated it not knowing who Kayla Hagee was, not giving any credit to the original artist because I literally had no idea. And then I found out that we live very, very close to each other and that we are both very similar in our styles and everything. So I really like her. She's very soft spoken as well, but she's very nice and I really like her YouTube channel. Kristen Leanne is Another that I absolutely freaking love. I met her at the Nick's Face Awards as well. We went and had dinner together that night, and gosh, her and her husband are just the nicest people. Let me just tell you. They are stunning to look at, by the way. Just gorgeous people. Very nice, very down to earth, very sweet. Her and I have kept um, in contact after the Face Awards and have exchanged, you know, some messages and we watch each other's YouTube videos and I just love her so much. I love her style. She makes me want to get a neck tattoo like you wouldn't believe. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Don't have a single tattoo so I probably shouldn't start with a neck tattoo, huh? But I absolutely love her and I love her YouTube channel. I love her style. I love the fact that she doesn't give a shit and she just does whatever she wants. She owns Arctic Fox hair color, so if you've ever heard of them, then she is one of the owners of that brand and it is, it is seriously beautiful and I'm thinking about using some of it for my next hair color, so just saying. I love Kristen Leanne and I love her videos and I love her style and I'm so glad to have met her at the Face Awards because she's a very genuinely nice person. Luster Lux is another that I really love. Um, I love Katie from Luster Lux because she's really down to earth. I love, I could probably listen to her talk about makeup forever. I don't know what it is but I just absolutely love listening to her talk about products because she really is knowledgeable and she knows a lot about different products and how they work and why and I just really love, I really love watching her videos because she's amazing at applying makeup. She's also really funny and I love the chemistry that she has with Desi. Those two, 
but everything is just just flawless and stunning and awesome. Lynette Sine, she's another that I really like. I met her at Generation Beauty. Um, we started following each other before that. I followed Lynette since she was just like, she had like 5,000 followers on Instagram. But she is an awesome nail artist. She also does makeup. She just got married. She did some serious, just she's a really nice person. I really like her style. She's really beautiful. Um, she's really sweet and friendly and we met again at the Next Face Awards and hung out just for a minute there. But um, really nice and really good person and I really like her YouTube videos. They're short, quick, to the point, really nice quality. Everything is on point. Makeup Geek, I really love watching Makeup Geek's videos. I will not miss a Makeup Geek video. Marlena is really, she seems like a really sweet and nice and down to earth person who makes really great quality videos, who really explains products well and because she owns Makeup Geek, she knows products and their formulations and the quality and a way to explain the colors in a way that really makes me want to buy them. She also branches out with her makeup style which I really like and I really just like watching the videos. I think that this, the close-up product shots and the way that they show the shadows, it's, it's really nice to me. So I really like Makeup Geek's videos in general and I pretty much never miss one. Manny MUA, he is my boo. I love Manny so much. I literally can't get enough of this guy. Me and my sister literally sat down the other day and watched probably four hours of Manny and we were like sitting there drinking our coffee and we realized we were in our pajamas still at like 1 p.m. and we're like hmm been watching Manny for four straight hours there's just something so genuinely inviting about his personality and he is so funny and so gorgeous and so down to earth and I met Manny at the Nick's Face Awards and he was at that same dinner that I went out with Kristen Leanne and her husband and gosh just so nice and so helpful and so friendly and just I really really liked him a lot like oh my gosh if he were straight he I'd be like trying to get them digits if you know what I'm saying I just love Manny I don't get it I don't get it why is he so perfect in every single way I just fucking love that guy and I cannot wait to buy his makeup geek palette just saying. Nikki Tutorials is another makeup artist who I will never miss a video. I've watched every single one of Nikki's videos. Her makeup quality and and oh my gosh just everything is flawless. I think Nikki is one of the best makeup artists out there on ins no she's not just Instagram on YouTube and I just love everything that she does. The quality everything is so perfect and she is the master at blending and creating an eye look where I'm sometimes I'm like I can't see it I see it at the end I'm like god damn bet you know what you're doing with eyeshadow I absolutely love Nikki tutorials so much I'm sure you guys all do too there are so many people on this list fuck Patrick Starr is another who is just slaying the makeup game so well I love Patrick's personality I think he is so genuine and so sweet he was also at that dinner with us at the Nick's Face Awards so sweet so down to earth hilarious Patrick is funny as fuck him and Manny together those two those two they slay my life I literally love them so much and Patrick is an amazing makeup artist so humble so sweet and so funny so I love Patrick Rebecca Shores is an amazing makeup artist who actually lives close to me as well I have met her we hung out and went shopping together at the mall went to Sephora and she was so nice so down-to-earth really funny knows a lot about makeup and the one thing I really can note about Rebecca and her makeup style is that her makeup looks are so incredibly clean what I mean by that is you won't find fallout on this bitch you won't find a blemish you won't find anything incorrect with her makeup style at all so clean so beautiful so well put together her lipstick line is never beyond her lip she never gets a smudge on her tooth she just she does everything so perfectly and her channel is so strictly about makeup it's a very nice place to go when you want a nice information a lot like Jay Kissa about a product and about a certain type of makeup if you want to see the product in its beauty and its glory Rebecca Shores MUA is great Tati from Glam Life Guru it's so hard for me to say that her videos are 
also one that I, I almost always watch. She has a very calming demeanor about her and I really like it. Her voice is a very calming and soft and I also really trust her product recommendations. I have bought a lot of products on her recommendation and they've all been great. Um, she really tests out products for her subscribers and she gives it her all so I really appreciate that. I like her videos a lot. I think that the quality and the the frequency in which she posts without fail is really inspiring and is something to be said for somebody that can post so frequently and still keep the quality really good. So I really like her videos a lot. The last makeup person that I'm going to talk about is The Taylor, and that's Taylor from The Taylor. And this, of course, is in no particular order. She just happened to be the last on my makeup artist list because of the T. Taylor is an awesome person. Just love her. So down to earth, so nice, so funny, so sweet, and really a great friend. I really like Taylor. We hung out just a few days ago. Of course, I got a freaking migraine in the middle of hanging out, so I had to leave. But it was really nice just to have somebody that lives close to me and is so nice and so down to earth and knows a lot about the industry and I just really like her. She's not involved in all the YouTube hoopla. She just really likes makeup and really likes talking about it and is a really sweet person. And I really like Taylor for more reasons than one, but I met her at Vlogger Fair a year and a half ago and she's just a really nice person. So if you guys like Taylor, I actually really like the way that she talks. She's one person I do not miss a video. I have not missed one of Taylor's videos. Her voice is so I don't want to call her monotone because I don't think that's a nice thing to say about somebody, but monotone is not the right word. She has, she's very precise and doesn't seem like, she's she's not a Candy Johnson where she's like, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's just like, hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and I really like it because she's very precise and to the point, but is so stinking nice. Like she has the nicest personality. She's a very sweet. She like her decor style is fucking on point. I just really like Taylor and could I just say that I like her a little bit more? It makes me sound a little creepy. That is it for my makeup artist favorites on YouTube. Let's move on to some of my other favorites that I'm gonna say are some of my tops. Probably my all-time favorite YouTube channel ever is Ask a Mortician. And you may not think this about me, but I am fascinated by Caitlin's YouTube channel. So she is a mortician. She works at a crematorium or has. She is absolutely so knowledgeable. Her videos are funny and morbid at the same time, which I love. She is a mortician who talks about death. She talks about death in a way that removes the stigma away from it. I love the YouTube channel. I have learned so much about death and embalming and decomposition and decay and it's just so fascinating to me so if you're looking for a really cool YouTube channel to watch that's different from a lot of the other YouTube channels out there Ask a Mortician is probably one of my all-time favorites another favorite channel is Cloudy Apples I've spoken about Cassie before but I absolutely love her channel I think that she takes a completely different approach from any other YouTube channel that I've seen but I absolutely love the quality I love the content I love listening to her talk and I could probably do it for hours on end I have loved Cassie for so long I think that her style is so unique and her outlook is so real and I love her relationship with Terry. I just love everything about Terry and Cassie. So if you don't follow Cloudy Apples, that is definitely one channel you should check out because it's been a huge inspiration to me and I absolutely love her so, so much. Another channel that I really love is Estee Lalonde. I love Essie from Essie Button. It's a stay now, but it was Essie Button for a long time, so if that's how you remember it, that's how you'd know it. I do love the direction that Essie's... I keep wanting to call her Essie. I love the direction that Estee's channel has gone since switching over to herself as her brand instead of Essie Button. I love the different style of videos. I love everything about what this channel has become. I've always loved it, but now I love it even more if that's even possible. So Estee Lalonde is an awesome channel. It's so soothing and calming to me, and I love the clean, crisp style that she uses, and it's just my favorite. On another hand, I love the crazy, out of whack, hilarious psychoness of Mamrie Hart from Mame Town. 
that channel is seriously so fucking funny and sometimes I'll skip past the videos because I'm like I don't feel like laughing right now because I know if I watch those videos I will end up cracking up. You ever just don't want to laugh? Well then don't watch Mamrie Hart because she's funny as shit. I just love her channel and I think that her $10 haul y'alls and just some of these random ass videos that she puts out end up being the funniest videos to me where I'm literally like laughing my ass off. So love Mamrie Hart so much. Melanie Murphy is another channel. If you're looking for good inspiration, just somebody to really talk like sense and uh, confidence into you. Melanie Murphy is one really good person for that because she's struggled with a lot of issues in her past but she's got a really cute accent and hearing her say inspirational shit in it is something I like. So if you want to see a really good channel that is growing really well and some really awesome things are happening for her, I do like Melanie Murphy a lot. Sprinkle of Glitter is another channel I really like. I have known Louise for a long time. I really like her a lot. She's a sweet-hearted person, really funny, uh, really, really down to earth. Truly one of the funniest people I think I've ever met in person. I think I laughed more when I was with her than anybody else. I absolutely love Louise. She's got such a hilarious personality and she's really been showing a lot of that in her YouTube videos lately and I love it. She's really, she's an awesome person. I'm sure you guys have heard of her and her channel and if you haven't, definitely worth checking out. It's a lot different but it's really good. Stepanka or Stepanka or whatever you want to call it, Stephanie Maddow from YouTube is, I just love her. Her channel is a lot different than these other ones that I've mentioned. It's a lot of storytelling videos about her life. She in general is a really, really nice person, really upbeat, really um, sweet. She loves pizza as much as I do and that's rare to do. She's a sweet-hearted person with a really nice down-to-earth, realistic personality, but also some funny shit, and she really keeps it real on her channel, and she also has some a crazy fucking life, and if you watch her videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. Just go through her channel and read the titles of her videos, and you'll be like, oh, what? Some shit happens to this bitch. I'm going to mention a few people that are my real life friends as well as my YouTube friends and I just really like them. Their channels are a lot different than the ones that I've previously mentioned, especially if you're here for the makeup aspect. These ones are gonna be a lot different, but I really like all of these people. And that is Amanda Muse. If you've ever heard of Amanda Muse, she is a really soft-spoken, get it together mother on YouTube who vlogs, who talks about beauty, who talks about her life, who talks about traveling. She is an, She was living over in Malaysia, now she is living in Canada I believe. She's just a really beautiful human being who has this really amazing zest for life, who loves to travel and who really loves to... she loves to make the best out of any situation and make everything just really down to earth and I really love that about her. So Amanda Muse is a really, really nice channel that I really like. I've got a purring kitty on my lap so if you hear purring, it's Mad Eye. We all know my love for Marie from Bits and Clips and if you don't, well then you should because she is one of my best friends here on YouTube. I love her. I love her sunny, positive outlook on life. You can tell I like people with that outlook because I typically go for the negative. I don't know why, but that's just who I am, and it pisses me off about me. I don't know why I do that, but she keeps me grounded, and she talks to me about YouTube. She talks to me about life. She's a great friend. We don't talk as often as I would like to, but I do love her. I love her channel. She does a vlogs that are family-style vlogs, so if you are up for that, then I think you would like her channel. She's a very sweet-hearted person person who is she's just got a really amazing outlook on life and because of that she she is the Pollyanna of YouTube so if you know who I'm talking about then you'll know what I mean when I talk about Marie that way another channel I really love are two of my best best friends and that is Gavin and Melissa from Living Richmond their channel is also a family vlog style channel and you know it's not something if you stumbled upon it and you didn't know them You'll, you'll think it's another family vlog channel. But when you know them and you know their personalities and know that they are truly two of the most wonderful people I've ever met, they literally are the sweetest people. Melissa is 
so beautiful and so sweet and I just love her to my core. She's such a good mom and she's a good wife and she loves gaming and she is beautiful and she is so sweet and I love her so dearly and Gavin, her husband, is so sweet and so nice and so hot. I'm sorry Gavin but you're 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 a gorgeous human and um, their child is th the cutest and just I love them so much and they don't get enough recognition so Living Richmond is their channel. I will link it below because finding their channel on YouTube has proved to be difficult because some senator or some shit pops up every time you try to find their page or something else happens so ha, frustrating but Click the link below if you want to follow their page. They are the nicest little family, and I believe Melissa is going to start a gaming channel soon, so if you are interested in that, it is worth it. They are the nicest people, and I love them to pieces. Let's move on. Mama Cat TV is another channel that I absolutely love. Her videos are short, sweet, hilarious, and good. I love her YouTube channel. So funny, and you guys should definitely go check it out. I I literally love Kat so much. Met her in person. She's 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 more quiet in person than I would have pictured because on her YouTube channel, this bitch gets down. She does a Pinterest drinks where she makes these Pinterest drinks and it tells you whether or not they're good or a fail. She sits down with her hilarious friend and they make videos. She makes videos about LPS, which is so so random but so good. These videos are funny as shit. Her personality and her humor is on point to me. So I absolutely love her. So that's Mama Cat TV. And last but not least is Jessie from Shugalippo. I just love her channel as well. Her, her and I, when we met in person, we connected. Girl, we were laughing so hard. I thought my stomach was going to fall out my asshole. I just love this girl so much. Her videos are so underrated and her channel is underrated and the quality and time and effort she puts in is so clear to me and it is so not hyped up enough. So definitely go check out her YouTube channel, Shugalippo. Very funny, very awesome. I just really love her and I think you will too. And that is all the people that I'm going to mention in this YouTube video. If I miss somebody, I am so sorry. My stupid YouTube unsubscribing me from people that I did not mean to unsubscribe from. So that being said, I do not take one of these people over another. I love everybody and there are definitely a lot more on my list. If I missed you, I really sincerely apologize. I never want to hurt anyone's feelings and I I, these aren't like own, the only favorites I have. Like I said, I have some favorites I didn't even mention in here. But I just wanted to mention some people that I think are a little underrated sometimes and that some people don't know about. Like when I've mentioned them to people, I'm like, do you watch this person? They're like, who's that? I'm like, what? I definitely watch more than these people, but these are the people that I wanted to mention in this video. I will do another video probably in the future of more people because every day it changes. I subscribe to people every single day that... It just, it changes, it changes. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. And I hope you guys found some new channels that you will love so much. So that is it for this video. If you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I try to put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I miss a lot of days sometimes. Also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope. Those are all Raw Beauty Christie. I post on those a lot more than I post on YouTube. So if you wanna see a lot of shit from me that you don't see on YouTube, follow me on those because you want to. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye!